person who was backed up by heavens. And we know this man so much. In First Chronicles chapter 4, we know this guy. We read about him. A lot has been said about this, uh, this man. And I want us to see. There are a lot of people that heavens backed up. But I want us to see this one man. Because he realized that if he asks, he shall receive. He realized that heavens can do anything. He realized that heavens can back you up when you ask it to back you up. In the mighty name of Jesus. First Chronicles chapter 4. First Chronicles chapter 4 and verse 9. First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 is a story we know so very much. Can you shout heavens back me up in Jesus name. Hakuna kitu kizuri kama heavens kukubaka Kwa sababu one thing haita, haita Unajua kuna watu ambao they are betrayers They will say I, I am I am I'm holding you back eh? I'm, I'm, I'm watching I'm watching your back my sister eh? You cannot go down when I'm here Have you ever been told like that by people And then they betrayed you And then they left you when you needed them the most Bwones was fue sana eh, Kwani ni mimi tu nishai kutana na hawa watu have you ever met a person that tells you, I got your back? Eh, ushai kutana na watu wako hivo? Alavu wakatu na wahitaji wanakimbia. Wakatu na wahitaji wa shiki simu. Wakatu na wahitaji hawa kuongeleshi. Ata haoni we ni mutu. I came to tell you, heavens cannot betray you. I say heavens cannot betray you. Heavens cannot betray you. When heavens decide to back you up, na iseme ni wewe, inaendaka na wewe mpaka musho until you succeed. So tonight, I want you to wear that confident. I want you to wear the garment of confident because heavens is beside you, backing you up. It doesn't matter what is happening. Tell your neighbor, heavens is backing me up. I want us to read all of us together. One to go. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. This guy is more honorable than his brothers. In other words, he's good. He is good looking. He was mighty. Actually, another version called him a mighty man of valor because he was powerful. In any, in any battle, that people would have gone. There were those mighty men of valor. That were carried. So that they will win the battle. This was the kind of the man. Misuri, he was honorable. More than his brothers. He was okay. He was thinking. Tell your neighbor. He had the mind. The wisdom. The knowledge. Alikuwa na akiri. Hmm? Alikuwa na nini? Na akiri. Lakini jina ilikuwa na shida. Okay, jina mwambia jina ilikuwa na shida. Kajina kalikuwa na shida. Alikuwa kosawa. Is the Bible calling him honorable? He was more honorable than his brothers. But his mother named him Jabez because he bore him in pain. Jabez was good like some of us. We are so good. We think. We think we wake up early to go to work. We do everything. Everything. But kuna kabat. Ukejele mwambia yo bat leo inaondoka kwa jina la yesu. Ah ah, ujasema, mwambie yo bat inaondoka kwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. You find you are so good. You are so good at what you do, but you have been working there for 10 years without a promotion. But tell your neighbor, yo bat lazima yondoke. You are learned. You got the papers. But when you go to look for a job, nobody is ready to employ you. Nobody is ready to give you the job. You are so talented into doing business. Actually, if you start anything, it must thrive. But you don't have any capital. You try to sell what to raise a capital, you cannot. There is a part. You are so good. Honorable. When you take business, by the way, the other business of the owner, the owner's business, thrive. Because of Abu Yako, wewe. Because you carry the grace, you carry the anointing, you are honored by business. But you, you cannot do yours. Whereby there is one side of you that is so good. But the other side you hate it. Today we came to decree that bat lazima yondoke kwa maisha yetu. I say it must get out of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not be so good in one place. And the other one you are not good. You are a good woman. Very good looking. You have everything. Everything it takes for you to get married. Eh? Every man that see you. They tell you I want to spend my life with you. I want to grow old with you. But nobody ever married you. 
nenda kwa kiu na jangali unasema na niko sawa na niko more beautiful na niko na kazi I, i will not be even a muzigo to this guy but you don't know what happened along the way the relationship is not there along the way imevunjika that but is what we kill tonight we decree and declare our life will not be two sided i say our life will not be two sided that you are succeeding this way but you are failing this way your graph goes that way and then it turns down we came to decree our graph is going to go up in the mighty name of jesus do you have faith can you say every but in my life get out in my life get out of my business get out of my way get out of my finances in jesus name do you know there are people who touch money good money lucy there are people who their hands juling the ear will touch millions not even one millions but at the end of the ear nothing to show we refuse it in jesus name i say we refuse it in jesus name we refuse it in jesus name anything that is diverting your finances anything that is eating your finances today tonight we destroy it in the name of jesus another people other people are so good in thinking they got ideas you are full of wisdom full of knowledge full of ideas when you when you talk about your ideas people will salute you honorable eh they will tell you you think madam you can think hey madam you got dreams you got visions but you don't know how to implement them actually other people steal it when you speak and they go and they succeed with your own ideas and they don't succeed you don't succeed you are not even you don't know how to go about it to implement it but when you speak another person steal it and then they go implement your ideas and they become rich and they become successful through you because you are so honorable in making ideas dreaming seeing visions but your graph goes down when it comes to implement them tonight i came to decree and declare every bad in your life every bad in your life let it be crushed tonight if you got faith declare my graph will always go up my graph will go up my graph will go up the graph of marriage the graph of business financial graph let it go up in the name of Jesus this part i refuse it in Jesus name but he was born in pain and he was given a name what is that name that people have given you eh wengine wamesevua sumbua kwa simu ya mtu kuna mwingine alinipigia simu juzi nikaona imejiandika sumbua true caller ikaleta sumbua hivyo ndio watu wengi wamemsave true caller huleta kenye umesaviwa Si ni ukweli? Trukola sinaletanga Kenya umesaviwa. Ilikuwa imeleta sumbua. I, 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 anapiga nikasema sasa huyu sumbua. Nani alisave huyu sumbua? So the moment I spoke to the lady and then tukamaliza nikaona sijamsave. So I realized Trukola inamuita sumbua. Anybody mwenye amekusave sumbua leo tunageuza story kwa jina la Yesu. Wengine wamesaviwa omba omba. Wengine wamesaviwa 1k. Tunaombaga 1k. Ukona 1k nitakurudishia baka ukaseviwa 1k jumeomba 1k kwa sister yako kwa brother yako kwa mabeshte wako so kila mtu akiona 1k anajua ni pesa so hata ashiki simu majina yote umepewa hata ile jina ulipoa kwenu kama miningi yake ni mbaya kama ya jabezi leo hii tunaokoa hiyo jina tuna redeem hiyo jina kwa imani can you declare by faith i redeem my name the meaning of my name i may know it or not but if it is not godly i am redeeming you using the blood of jesus i redeem you by the blood of jesus i am redeeming you i am washing you with the blood of jesus christ by the way do you know the meaning of your name especially the the the, the, the mother tongue name hmm lucy unaitwa lucy nani modoni Dhoni means what? Kusikia aibu. Eh, dhoni. It means what? Eh, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wengine mmesevua dawa ya mende, kunguni. Eh, maana unanunuaga hizo dawa sana sana, ukauwe panya na mende kwa shaitani ashindwe kwa jina la Yesu. What is the meaning of the other name that you are given? Wachana na hii Monica hiyo ingine ya kikuyu hiyo ya kikamba hiyo ya kiluo maybe some of us we were named and the names are limiting us 
Jabez was limited by the name, nothing else. Look at this name and you will see what the name did. The name of Jabez brought a lot of troubles in his life and he realized my name is bringing troubles in my life. I need heavens to back me up. I need heavens to clean me. I need heavens to clear my name. I need something. Today I came to decree any name that you are given or any name or a nickname that people gives you and it is affecting you negatively. It is a negative meaning. Today we destroy that name. We denounce it. Actually we delete it. We delete it in your system. We delete it in the air. We delete it on the earth. We delete it in heaven. We delete that name that is bringing negativity in your life in Jesus name. Let us see what Jabez name, the name Jabez is doing to this young man. Uh, go to verse 10. Jabez cried out to God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me, that you, will be, uh, that you would bless me. Anyone asking for blessings, are they blessed? Are they blessed? They are not blessed. He was praying for blessings because he was cursed. He realized he's cursed. He realized I need a change. I need an opposite of who I am. See the name Jabez. It has brought a curse in the life of this man. And he realized there is a curse in my name. I do not attract blessings. And he started to pray. And he told heavens, may you back me up and hear me. And you, if you would bless me, if you remove the curse and bless me. Tonight I came to decree and declare. Anywhere there were curses, curses of the enemy, curses of generation, curses that you have speaking or people have spoken over you. Tonight we are replacing them with the blessings like the best. I say we are replacing them with blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you declare every curse of any kind, every curse of any kind, lose my life, release my hands, release my face, release my everything, my finances in the mighty name of Jesus. Jabez was born in pain and because of being born in pain he was given a negative name and this name attracted though he was honorable it attracted curses though you were so energetic though you work so hard though you come to church though you serve the Lord but you find there is something that is following you you find there is a curse that is following you and Jabez realized I need heavens to back me up I need God here and he said that you would bless me he said because I am cursed father bless me today because I am cursed bless me today tonight I came to release a blessing of God over your life let heavens back you up and release your blessings actually any blessing with your name on it in the month of July it will not end this July without the blessing locating you you are not receiving I say any name any blessing with your name on it that is supposed to drop to you in the month of July I declare let it locate you let it locate you you in the name of Jesus Christ and every curse let it melt let it be swallowed let it be cleansed in the name of Jesus Christ that you will bless me indeed so this guy realized he don't carry blessings and he realized I need heavens to back me up for me to carry blessings when heavens backs you up you carry blessings tell your neighbor you carry blessings and any curse of the enemy, any curse of the mouth, what wali kunenea, what wali kulaani, vitu zilifanyika, when the heavens is backing you up, the curse cannot withstand. Therefore, I replace any kind of a curse with a blessing. I say with a blessing. If you are cursed times five, I declare times ten of the blessings. If you are cursed times ten, I declare a hundred folds of blessings. In the name of Jesus. Akasema nini? That you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Nobody prays for enlargement when they are enlarged. Anybody who asks for enlargement, they ask for it because there is limitation. We shift from small houses and we go to two bedrooms because there is a limitation to stay in one bedroom. Your family is enlarging. Therefore, you cannot be held by one bedroom and you shift, you go to two. You shift from two bedroom to three. You 
shift from three to four. You shift from there to your own house because you are enlarging. And because this one bedroom or a bed sitter is limiting you. Anybody who is shifting to a bigger house, there is a limitation in the one that they are moving out of. So there was a limitation in the name of Jabez. There was a limitation in the life of Jabez. And he realized, here I need heavens for me to be enlarged. I need heavens to expand. I need heavens to grow. Anywhere that there is a limitation, when heaven is backing you up, enlargement appear. When heaven is backing you up, expansion appear. When heaven is backing your finances up, you increase. When heaven is backing your business up, you increase. When heaven is, uh, is backing you up, no limitations of any kind. May heavens back you up. May your prayers be heard. In the name of Jesus. He said that you may enlarge my territory. He was limited. He was squeezed. He was not going anywhere. He was just there. He was a poor man. Actually, if, if, if you're not expanding and if you're not multiplying and you're not increasing, that means you are suffering poverty. You are suffering limitations. You are suffering lack. You are suffering all those things. So this guy, because of the name, Hey, your name must be changed. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Hiyo jina tunai, kwa imani tunaibadilisha. Meaning yake kama ilikuwa failure, tunaiweka success. Pali pali kuwa rejection, we declare favor. In the name of Jesus. Because Jabez was born in troubles and pain. Look, he is so limited. He is asking heavens. He is praying to God that you may enlarge me. When you, when you are backed up by heavens, enlargement is automatic. You never, heard, you never heard what I say. Enlargement is automatic. You must increase. Heavens cannot back you up floor and you remain the same. When heavens back you up, you increase. When heavens back you up, you grow. When heavens back you up, you expand. In anything that you do, I prophesy. Let there be expansion. Let there be growth. Let there be increase. Do I have a believer today? Today it's a prophetic hour service. You better receive the prophetic word where there is limitation today i came to push you to push you to push you to push you limitation of finances i came to push you now start increasing start expanding start growing limitation of business i came to push you now i came to push you now can you open another shop can you open another business can that that you are doing expand let it grow in the name of jesus we are calling the clients that are needed to come to your shop. We are calling the clients that are ready to shop with you. Ah, you never heard what I say. You know there are clients and clients that are ready. You know there are potential clients and their clients. We are calling potential clients. We are calling clients that are ready. See you wanna kuja kuriza bay. Anauriza bay. Anauriza bay. Mimi anajipima. Mimi ni 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 pata mtu moja siku moja kwa mavazi. Mama moja akakuja. Huyo niliona kama alikuwa monitoring spirit. Akakuja, akavaa nguo ya kwanza rusi, akajiakalia. Akasema, "Hii ni mzuri." Akatoa. Akavaa ya pili, akajiangalia. "Hii na ni mzuri." Akatoa. Anatolesha tu, anatoa. Na hii hii hi ni size gani? Si inaweza nitosha. Mimi napenda yero wanavaa. Akavaa. Na akavaa nguo mingi. Nguo kehofa nguo we. Eh? Kuo mingi tukatua, nisha tukatua, nisha tukatua. Zina ikira watu kwa kiti. Sasa mini kwa mwoni kwa nasema huyu. Atanunua leo na funga duka saa tisa. Maana sasa nimeingiza pesa vizuri. There is no need kushida hapa hivo. Nimekaa hapa hivo. Ni, 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 ni kipigo na kelele na vubi. Na nini na nimeingiza ka, ka hundred thousand. Ushe angalia nguo zenye ya mechagua unona. They are worth over hundred thousand. So ata asponunua zote. Anunue za ite KE70. You know. Paka kwa moyo wako umesha anza. Kujianda kuenda nyumbani. Akirizako zimiaza kugonga kuenda kulala. Eh? Akajipima. Akajipima. Na kuambia alipomaliza. Hakununua. Hakaenda. Hakaniambia he. Eh, prof. Mpaka ni mtu wanajua. Kisikia mtu wananita prof wananijua. Prof. Nitakucha. Ni Hizi nguo zako ni noma. Hizi nguo zako ni kali. Na kuambia hii ni kitokia nayo. Na hakununua. Alipotoka. 
Nikasema huu ni monitoring spirit ama ni nani? Nikajiuliza huyu alitumwa na nani hapa by the way? Huyu lazima akuwa ametumwa. Huyu lazima akuwe ni monitoring spirit. Nikarudisha mlango. Niliomba na hasira. Nikakemea roho ya monitoring spirit kwa duka yangu. Nikasema kuna mtu atawahi kuja hapa na acha kitu. Hata asipopata ile alikuwa nataka atanunua ingine. Na vunja roho ya monitoring spirit za kukuja kumonita, kukuja kushika shika nguo na hanunui. Na nikasema kuanzia leo na mwaga mafuta ya favor hapa. Ninatangaza ya kwamba hapa kutaingia client akoredi kununua potential client the client that i need the client of my, or the client that loves what i do and what i'm selling and nobody will ever come here and walk out like that in jesus name the shop was new new haikuwa mze i'm telling you the prayers worked mtu anakujaga akiwa anakujia nguo anapata iliisha yenye alikuwa anakujia asema sasa jamaa hii iliisha sasa nitafanya nini mwambia jaribu hii uone akijaribu haitoi anasema ah hata hii kwa mzuri kama hii so there, you, need, you, you, you need you need you need that you need you need increase in business but you cannot increase without the potential clients you cannot increase without the clients that matters clients that loves you are product or your services you need that enlargement you need that increase therefore if you're in business i declare to that business of yours i declare no monetary spirits will come there no people with bad agenda will come there in the name of jesus i declare any client that will come they are ready to buy they are ready to shop in the name of jesus na kama kuna watu wanakujaga hapa kwako wanaangalia vitu na wanatoka enda ugombe hiyo ombi mimi niliomba fukuza mtu yote hayuko ready eh fukuza yule sio wa level hiyo maana kuna watu wanatusumbua hajafika level hiyo ya kununua 2000 level yake ni ya 500 na si mbaya aende huko acha kukuja kukupakia nguo jasho niki na makeup ama ninaongea vibaya si level yako ile tu kama hajafika kununua hiyo kitu ni adhau na nakuuliza hakuna ya mia mbili kuna za mia mbili si ni kweli Mungu akuletee wale ambao ni wa kipimo chako wale wana match na kile unafanya wale wana match na biashara yako because we are not the same all of us we are divided into portions yeye kama ya mia mbili ndio inamfit aende huko kwa mia mbili acha kukuja kwako kushinda akiguzaguza vitu akileta roho ya ya mugadho kugadhira wera Mugadho amegadha amegadha hapo kazi yendi ako hapo tu amejaza duka na wengine wanakuwa wanono sana Amejaza duka mtu anakuja naona kumejaa anapita juu ya venye amekaa hapo na hatoki shaitani ashindwe Kama uko kwa biashara may increase come may enlargement come you are not saying amen may the lord enlarge you you will desire to shift eh, from that house you have been living there since you came in Nairobi You are first born, second, third. Kwa hiyo hiyo nyumba, mnabishana huko, mnapitanaga, muna, mnafanyaga muna hivi apite. Huyo apite, huyo apite, mnasema waga hivi. Na u, kuna mzee, kuna mama, msichana wa kazi, watoto watatu, kanyumba kale kale. Eh, you need enlargement. I declare enlargement. I declare increase in Jesus name. You know there are some men that will not come even on the sitting room because it is too congested. They want to watch news but they will watch in bedroom in their phones because sasa akikuja lazima aondolee msichana miguu msichana apite. Naye hataki hiyo picha. Anataka akue ameinua miguu yake kwa nyumba yake vizuri, amekelea hapo juu na chai yake hapa akiwatch TV yake. Lakini ndio msichana apite akipeleka watoto kurara lazima apitie mahali yako. May the Lord enlarge us. I say may God enlarge us. Ati mko kwa nyumba hivi Lucy, hamwa nani? Eh. Tasha akiwa na huko, tari yako na huko, unasikia tu akiongelea mahali. Kwa jina la Yesu mtiro mko kila irathi Moise. Kwa jina la Yesu. Mungu huko, unasikia tu watu wanaongea lakini hujui wako wapi? Eh mtu wako kwake kwake. Mtu wako bedroom hamusumbuani, ham may the Lord enlarge you. If you desire to shift, I am shifting you. By faith I am shifting you in the name of Jesus. May God enlarge your finances. I say may God enlarge your finances. May God enlarge your dreams. I say may God enlarge your dreams 
and your ideas in the mighty name of Jesus. If Jabez was a human being like you and I, and he prayed a prayer and it was answered, I declare so in your life. Let heavens back you up and bring and bring enlargement. Let it back you up and bring increase and bring growth where you need it in Jesus' name. May you even enlarge spiritually. Hey, you pray the way you, you are not praying before. You pray for two hours if you are praying for that minute. You are able to fast for 21 days. And you are not able to fast for 21 days. May the Lord enlarge your, your love for him. May God enlarge and make it deeper the way we are saying on Sunday. May you enlarge the love of God. When you go to read the word of God. May you understand in a deeper way. In the mighty name of Jesus. When you are not spiritually, my friend, you got everything else you are looking for. In Jesus' name, can you say my faith enlarge? Can you say my love for God enlarge? In Jesus' name, I refuse to be in the same place. The way I was praying in January, raga, 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 February, raga, 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 March, raga, 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 June, raga, raga, July, Badukona, raga, 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 raga. Hey, enlarge, grow. Get a level in Guinea. As a Kwongian and Dimizing, Shatania Mesoya Iso. At Asha, you are Kenyan Mani Shaga. Asha Kusoma. May you enlarge spiritually. I'm just saying, my men, Vizuri. May you enlarge spiritually. That the devil thinks you are this way, he finds you are not there. Because you have enlarged, because you have grown in the spiritual realm, in Jesus' mighty name. May you enlarge spiritually, physically, mentally psychologically, emotionally enlarge all areas in Jesus mighty name and he said enlarge my territories, let your hand be with me he realized he needed the backup of the hand of God he realized the way I am going this way eh? this way I am going hated by people, eh, suffering a lot of pain, causing a lot of pain, there is something that I am lacking and I am lacking the up of the hand of God and he prayed and he said let your hand be upon me today the hand of God is upon somebody the hand of God is upon somebody's business the hand of God is upon some somebody's marriage the hand of God is upon somebody's somebody's salvation somebody's finances the hand of God is backing you up where the hand of God is no weapon fashion against you shall prosper mm -hmm. the hand of God it cannot cover you, Lucy, and you die prematurely. When the hand of God is upon you, you cannot lack. When the hand of God is upon you, you cannot cry. When the hand of God is upon you, you cannot be frustrated. This is someone, a full someone about the hand of God. I'll preach to you about the hand of God one of these fine days. When the hand of God is upon you, nothing you are supposed to lack. You are not supposed to lack peace. You are not supposed to lack food. You are not supposed to lack anything. Because the hand of God is upon you. He said, let your hand be upon me. He realized he needed the hand of God. He realized he needed a touch. Hey, may Jehovah touch you. May Jehovah touch you. May he touch whatever concerns you. May his hand prevail. May his hand be upon you. May his hand fight your battles. Where the hand of God is, the devil cannot win any battle. I say where the hand of God is, the devil cannot win the battle. Tonight I came to say that the hand of God is backing you up. That the hand of God is backing you up. That the hand of God is backing you up. Kunawatu wa mekudarao. Let the hand of God be upon you. Kunawad wana sema unaisha. Let the hand of God manifest. Kunawad wana sema katakufa. Let the hand of God manifest. They will start asking what happened. Kunawad wana fikiri umeisha. Kwa sababu biashara ikochini. Kwa sababu biashara ilifungwa. Kwa sababu ulichotwa. Kwa sababu ulifukuzwa. Today I came to tell you. The hand of God will manifest. And it will ashamed the devil. The hand of God will manifest. I said the hand of God will manifest. Let the hand of God be upon you. Let the hand of God be upon your job. Let it be upon your career. 
career. Let it be upon your business. Let it be upon your children. Hold your hand and say, my father, my father, I pray that your hand will be upon me. I pray that your hand will be upon me. My father, my God, let your hand never depart from me. Let your hand never depart from me. Let your hand never depart from me. Let your hand carry me. Let your hand speak for me. Fight my bad thoughts. Let your hand back me up. Because when your hand backs me up, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. When your hand backs me up, I will win. I'll become a victor. When your hands back me up, I will succeed. I pray that your hand will back me up. Your hand will be upon me. Your hand will cover me. Your hand will protect me. Your hand will touch me. One touch of God is enough for my troubles. One touch of God is enough for my business. One touch of God is enough for my marriage. One touch of God is enough. Is enough. Is enough. Let your hand be upon me. Let your hand back me up. In Jesus name. He realized he needed the backup of the hand of God. When you realize that, that you need the hand of God at work, my friend, you will succeed. You will succeed. And let this be your prayer. Every day you wake up, tell God, let your hand be with me. Let your hand lead me. In Jesus' mighty name. Let the hand of God lead this Kenya as we go to vote. We are not just voting. The hand of God will direct our hands as we tick whoever we are going to be ticking. The hand of God will be upon every Kenyan. Ha! I'm just saying my man. The hand of God will be upon every Kenyan. In the name of Jesus. Usi ende tu hapo na your own understanding and your own knowledge and your own emotions. But I love so and so. I love, tell God, let your hand hold mine. Whoever you have chose is who I will take in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tell God, let your hand be upon my hands as I go to work. As I go to my business. Whatever I will touch, because your hand already is upon me, it's blessed. Whatever I will touch, because your hand is upon me, I will sell. Whatever I will touch, because your hand is upon me, it will manifest and multiply. Wherever I will go, favor will show. Favor will manifest. Because nobody, that the hand of God backs them up and they suffer rejection. Nobody suffer rejection. Nobody suffer pain. Nobody suffer shame when the hand of God is upon you. I pray for you tonight. The heavens is backing you up. The hand of God is backing you up. In any project, let the hand of God back you up. In that project, imekataria katikati. Imekata kuisha. Hiyo nyumba ulianza kujenga hayendagi mahali. I declare the hand of God. I send the hand of God. I send the hand of God at the site. I send it wherever the project is. I send the hand of God at your work, at your business. Any project that is pending, the hand of God will manifest from now. And I decree and declare, before the end of this year, you will see the hand of God. You will see manifestation. You will see results in the name of Jesus. Anything that is not manifesting, let the hand of God be upon you. And it will manifest in Jesus name. As somebody shout amen. Shall let the hand of God be upon me. When the hand of God is upon you, you don't make mistakes. You don't make mistakes. Can you tell your neighbor, when the hand of God is upon you, you do not make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor from today, eh, allow the hand of God to lead you. Eh, allow the hand of God. Tell the hand of God, direct me. Eh, tell me what to do. Take me where you want. When the hand of God is upon you, you will not invest wrongly. Mm. You will not be conned when the hand of God is upon you. So it's a prayer every day when you wake up and tell God, let your hand back me up, Lord. Let me walk with your hand. Let it direct me. Show me the way. You that you are confused. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. You don't know who to talk to. You don't know who to believe. Let the hand of God direct you. The hand of God can never make you wrong. The hand of God can never give you a decisions that are wrong. Tell the hand of God, I invite you in my life. May me up in any decision I'm going to make in this project that is not moving anywhere in my finances in my career in my salvation in everything let your hand be upon my life and back me up uh -huh. 
and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. This man was praying a prayer, keep me away from harm. That means he was in danger. That means there were things that he was fearing. Hakuna mtu anaweza omba hiyo ombi hivi hivi tu. Kuna kitu inamsumbua. Kuna kitu haiendi vizuri. He was in danger. He was causing pain. He was with a lot of pain. Himself was pain, causing pain. Can you see the scenario? The name means pain. Then he is in the situation of pain. He was surrounded by by harms and by pain. That is why he prayed that prayer. That you keep me away from harm. Keep me away from evil. I came to decree and declare. Heaven is backing you up. And no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. You never say the amen. I say no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Heaven is backing you. You shall not see evil. I say you will not see evil. I say you will not see evil. Heaven is backing you. You shall not die prematurely. With long life, heaven will satisfy you. With long life, God will satisfy you. With long life, God will satisfy you. In the name of Jesus, heaven is backing you up. You will not cause pain and you will not feel pain and you will not be pained. Hiyo ni kizungu inaeleweka. Hiyo kizungu iko sawa. Tell your neighbor when heavens back you up. Every harm. Every harm is eliminated. Plans of the enemy they are eliminated. Eh? Every 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 mushari arrow of the enemy. Eh? When it fires coming to you. Coming to you when heavens is backing up. Eh? Unasikanga ile back to sender. Eh, it refuses to come to you you repel it may you repel the arrows of the enemy may your business repel the arrows of the enemy those who send the arrows of defeat send the arrows of loss send the arrows of of lack may they never come near you may any harm that the devil is planning any harm that people are planning let it repel you i say let it repel wacha ikukatai ikikaribia mahali ulipo inarudi kwenye iritoka katika jina la yesu kristo i declare no harm i declare no harm no evil that is purposed against you that shall prosper because heavens is backing you up the hand of god is backing you up therefore any evil that they are planning any evil they the devil is planning i reverse it back to sender i say back to sender i say let it back fire let it back fire let it back fire let it back fire in jesus name you know there are, there are people that do not sleep eh? waiting for your downfall do you know that and these people actually some of them even you don't know them i came to realize that na sasa watu hawanisumbuagi bwana yesu asifiwe when you realize that these people some of them they don't know you by the way they don't know you they just saw you once somewhere mulienda tu akakuchukia tu hivyo mwingine anakuonanga tu social media anashinda kwa wewe anangaraka hivi anatoaga wapi hizi pesa by the way hiyo inamuuma tu hiyo tu aliona tu meka going to dubai going to wapi ameona tu mepost kuwa airport hata hakujui personally anakujua tu kwa jina ya facebook na picha hakujui hata hajui kwenu ni wapi anakuchukia tu hivyo yeah all those people that want your downfall the people that know you and those who do not know you all of them i declare because heavens is backing you up heavens is backing you up they will be frustrated the more they hate you the more you rise the more they humiliate you the more you rise the children of israel the more they were they were oppressed the bible say the more they were oppressed they were given a lot of work especially men for them not to give birth they were made sure that they are so tired they cannot make babies but the bible say the more they were oppressed the more what is anna the more they were giving birth the more they were increasing the more people hate you the more you will thrive the more you will shine the more you will succeed in the name of jesus kama kuna dawa najua dawa moja ya adui ni ku succeed ni hiyo tu dawa moja ya adui zako lucy ni u succeed tu watakupenda bila kuambiwa na mtu watasema huyu ni wa kwetu na ni maadui zako walikuwa nakuchukia but because you are so blessed you have succeeded they cannot deny it and it harvest may you get a harvest a success 
that will make your enemies be at peace with you. In Jesus' name. The more they oppress you, the more you thrive. The more you rise. The more they call you names, the more you succeed. The more wana kuchomelelea. Ununa wana watu wana chomelelea. Dunu kuna watu wana chomelelea nga mutu. Kwa sababu tu me gain favor kwa ofisi. Ama favor kwa the farm that you are working with. Wana chomelelea webe. Wana ambia mdo sijuini. Do you know there are people that can go to an extent of sleeping with the bosses because of you to be demoted? Aya, huku jua hiyo? People are wicked. Kwa za hii kanairo. Tell your neighbor, people are wicked. People are wicked. People can take you and take your photo to a witch doctor and tell the witch who you as if we promotion who you as why you talk hapa hapa kwa hii level wako who you tunataka afutwe kazi who unataka aachwe na mume wake na hata ana acha na mume wako by the way hata unashaka ninaachwa na hamchukui najua fadhali aseme aachwe mimi nichukuliwe sasa anasema aachwe na yeye atakutaki hata akujui hata ajui mume wako lakini anaona because your marriage is as if it is the one giving you the crown and giving you the beauty and giving you the success so they go and say huyu aachwe huyu aachwe huyu mm. aachwe kwanza aachwe mchana saa sita watu wote wakiona mm. aachwe na aachwe na matuko na aachwe na matusi na atukanwe watu wote wajua litukanwa huyu afutwe kazi people are wicked But I came to tell you you will not be harmed. I say you will not be harmed. Let the Lord take care of your enemies. Let the Lord take care of those who hate you. He said I will take your diseases. I will take your sicknesses and throw them to those who hate you. May your diseases be taken away by your enemies. May your sicknesses be taken away by your enemies. I say may your death, the premature death, let your enemies take it in Jesus name. Let your enemies take it in Jesus name. I came to decree no harm, no evil fashion against you shall prosper no witchcraft fashion against you shall prosper no charismatic witchcraft fashion against you shall prosper i say no evil thought fashion against you shall prosper no evil pronunciations fashion against you shall prosper any word that was spoken to you evil words either you know them or you don't know them as your prophet i nullify i delete it in the spiritual and physical i call them null and void i call them powerless those words will not eat you those words will not bring your marriage down those words will not bring your business down any evil spoken word on an evil altar on this altar i declare i reverse those words i denounce them i denounce them i denounce those words in the name of jesus any sacrifice that was taken on an altar for you to go down i stand on this godly altar on the altar of god as a prophet of god i cancel i bring it down i demolish i uproot i uproot any other altar any other sacrifice speaking negative about you you will not be harmed i say you will not be harmed in the name of jesus because heaven is backing you up because god is backing you up jesus is backing you up holy spirit is backing you up may heaven back you up tonight and frustrate the expectations of your enemies and frustrate those who hate you in jesus name may the lord never satisfy the desires of your enemies may they be rejected by food and water may they be rejected by earth and soil anybody who comes against you because heaven is backing you may they be rejected i say may they be rejected may the days never cooperate with them may the hours never cooperate with them anything never cooperate with them the environment will not cooperate with them in the name of jesus for heaven is backing you up for heaven is backing you up in jesus name and he said what and the bible say what can we read together and god come on can you read and god and god when heaven is backing you up your prayers are answered yes when heaven is backing you up your prayers are answered and god granted him his request i decree and declare 
may you be granted your request by heavens. May you be granted your request by heavens. May you be granted your request by heavens. Ata kama shetani ameiba maombi yako, kama ile ya Danieli, ameiba majibu akaikamatia kwa hewa. Tonight we came to destroy principality of Persia that holds the answers of the Christians and we decree and declare to every principality to release your answers, to release your prayers, to release your request, to release them in the name of Jesus. Any principality release our request, release our answers any authorities that controls in the heavens in the heavenly heavens right now release what belongs to us majibu yetu yaliyo jibiwa achili ya leo katika jina la yesu hallelujah you know there are, there are principalities that stay there waiting for you to pray when you pray they take it so it is not going because they have taken it wewe unaomba 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 mwaka inaisha kwa sababu ilikamatiwa katika anga na kuna zingine zinashindwa kukamata ukiomba because ume apply moto umesema i cover my prayers with the blood of jesus i decree and declare my prayers are going to be heard i decree and declare devil you have no power against me zingine zinapenya maombi yako inafika pinguni na inasikiwa na unajibiwa lakini nayo inasema okay ulituweza ukapitisha lakini kurudisha tunakamata kama Daniel Daniel prayed the bible say the one he prayed his prayers were answered the one the one but he had to fast for 21 days for him to get the result the angel came and told him Daniel the day you prayed the one god answered your prayer he answered but the king of Persia held your answers and that is why if the answers have not come but have come the angel of battle came to make sure that the principality the king of persia will release what belongs to daniel i came to say any prayers that are hijacked on the way or any answers that are hijacked on the way because heaven is backing you up may your request be granted i say may your prayers penetrate may your prayers reach there may your prayers be taken by the angels assigned by god in jesus mighty name let your request let your answers be manifested let them be manifested i say your answers are going to manifest are going to manifest tonight in the name of jesus because heaven is backing you up you shall see an you will see results you will see solutions in that area you will see solution in that problem you are going to see a solution in the name of Jesus Christ i know you are in a challenge may a solution manifest may an answer manifest i say may an answer manifest in the mighty name of Jesus i want you to rise on the on your feet <laughs> Tamua ya kwamba vile nilivyozaliwa ni mwanzo wangu tu Kisha nikasoma kwenye Biblia